What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another video for you to watch. And this video is a little bit off-brand, or on-brand, I guess, because it does relate to my usual content, which is videography, filmmaking, photography, and pretty much handheld mirrorless cameras, you know. So yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different, but that is the actual theme of this video, is that it is okay to be different and when I say it's okay to be different it is in all aspects of life life in general in videography making YouTube videos content creation how you approach life how you approach religion how you dress how you think whatever I've been reflecting a lot on why there is such a fear of being different and why do people always try to be the same? Everyone just likes to flock into a crowd. Everyone likes to see what is trendy and popular and flocks to that and does that thing. You see it all the time on, you know, IG Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, where certain types of video goes viral, like someone's doing a dance or Someone's doing some stupid stunts and then it becomes like a hashtag and everyone tries to do that same thing. It's people just love just doing what everyone else is doing. Another example is just YouTube videos in this content, content creation space. All it takes is one or two people who are popular in a certain niche and makes their video a certain way. And the next thing you know, everyone's video just kind of looks the same way. We see it with Sam Coulter's My Year video from like 2017 or something. Like next thing you know, everyone's doing My Year videos. Crazy transitions, all this stuff. And next thing you know, like it just completely gets played out. You see it with this. I mean, it's not as egregious as some other uh, YouTube videos out there, but you get the picture. The YouTube world, you know, be loving this RGB action. It's even in the way how YouTube videos are made, like how it's compiled, the style that it is presented. You see YouTube videos and everyone reviews products like the same way. Everyone talks about the new camera the same way. You got the B-rolls, you got the tech specs, at the price, uh, you know, reading off the whole list of specs on B&H. And uh, there you have it. Footage tests, you have the same, you know, walk up to the camera back and forth, jumping in and out to test autofocus. We've seen it happen. I have done it. And one of the most usual comments I see on like my videos, people literally tell me I need to make my videos more like the other YouTubers. Like literally that is, that is a very common comment that I get on my videos. And uh, fortunately when I see comments like that, I tend to go even further in the opposite direction. You see it in wedding films, you know, people see how some high-end or popular wedding videographers do wedding videos and they just kind of copy what they are doing. They try to mimic their style. And then you see these comments a lot on wedding videography groups, forums, threads on Facebook, whatever. People share their films and, and they edit a certain way or they film a certain way and they get criticisms for not being like someone else. And I think it's a bit ridiculous. Uh, I think it's good to point out technical flaws, like maybe like exposure or maybe skin tones are weird or maybe like the audio is really bad or you know this, that, and the other. But to like bag on someone's like over the overall style, the overall theme of how they did the video is a bit questionable to me. Human nature, it seems like people don't like the feeling of being different. People don't like the feeling of being left out and they have a tendency to get drawn into the masses and then everyone just ends up dressing the same, looking the same, doing the same stuff. And then we end up losing that opportunity to be different, to do something different, to do something new, to create something that you and other people haven't experienced before. You even see it in Hollywood. like. Marvel is very successful, and then DC tries to copy what they are doing to try to be successful, but you're not going to be able to copy what your competitor is doing or what that the other brand is doing. They need to draw into their strengths, 
They need to drill into what makes their product stand out. They need to figure out what makes their product, their characters, their brand stand out to their audience and lean into that instead of trying to copy what the others are doing. In this case, DC shouldn't try to copy Marvel Cinematic Universe's way of doing things. Because if Marvel back then decided to copy what DC was doing with, let's say, The Dark Knight, we wouldn't have gotten what we got with, you know, Marvel Phase 1 or whatever they call it, with the Avengers and Thanos and all that stuff, you know. We as the audience got to witness, got to experience something amazing. But at the same time, the Dark Knight itself was amazing. Why don't DC lean on that instead of trying to be mainstream Marvel? And then when it comes to like living life, you know, you grow up as a kid and me as an Asian kid going through elementary school, you know, late 80s into, you know, early 90s, I was different, you know. I was usually the only Asian kid in my classroom. The rest were majority white, got some black and some Spanish, and then I was usually that one kid who was the only Asian. And if there was another Asian kid in there, they didn't necessarily look like me. They were Pakistani or Indian or what have you. So I've always felt like I was kind of different in that regard. But, you know, I've come to the realization that there's a lot of other reasons why that I feel and I am different than other people. And it is not a bad thing. You know, obviously, as a kid growing up, it could feel very uncomfortable. You could feel like you're a bit weird. You're, you could feel like you don't belong. And to be quite honest, that is not a bad thing. And that is also something I've come to realize, you know, actually pretty early on in life, but, you know, even more so now as I look back. I've always been the type that if everyone is doing this thing, I do the other thing. People get in line to buy Starbucks. I usually try to pick somewhere else to get my coffee when I do drink coffee. People like to wait in long lines to buy Apple phones. I buy Android phones. And sure, Android phones are generally pretty popular now, but I've been doing this since back in the day, like when BlackBerry was still the shit. I never touched Apple in my life. Camera stuff. When I was researching what camera to buy, the most popular brand at the time for professional video or photo in the DSLR space was Canon. This is back in 2014. Um, and at the time, Sony was not that popular yet. And they just started coming out with some mirrorless cameras. And instead of buying Canon, I bought a Sony. And at the time, no one else was really using Sony for video. I got it. I went for Sony because it was one cheaper. It had 1080, 60 in HD, and it wasn't Canon. I bought my pickup truck a little over a year ago. Everyone wants to get a Toyota Tacoma. Toyota Tacomas are fantastic. I also didn't want to be driving around a vehicle that I saw everyone else was driving around. I got a Nissan Frontier instead. It's just how I am. I remember back in middle school, high school, I didn't understand why people just wanted so badly to do everything what the popular kids were doing. Why everyone wanted to be doing what the jocks were doing. Wearing the same shoes, wearing the same shirt brand, just all acting and being exactly the same way. And all the kids who weren't being like them got picked on, made fun of, or whatever, because those kids were different including myself, but luckily enough, true story, growing up, I watched a lot of martial arts, you know, Asian martial arts movies, and, and a lot of kids thought that I knew some crazy kung fu, and majority of the time, they didn't mess with me. And when they did, I didn't mind fighting back. So uh, most of the time, bullies, most of the time, bullies are kind of weak-minded. So if, they, if, it, if you're not easily picked on and you fight back, you know, give them a hard time, they usually try to leave you alone. I guess what I'm saying is for all of you who subscribe to my channel, 
and all of you who just kind of come across my videos, it is okay to think differently and be different and do things differently than the vast majority of people out there. If you feel different, if you feel out of place, if you feel a bit weird compared to everyone else, it is a good thing. Like, lean into that. Sure, you might not have a thousand friends. Uh, you might not have a ton of subscribers. You might not gain a ton of subscribers in a short period of time. But I'm telling you, the ones that stick with you in life and, let's say, creative space, those individuals are a lot more valuable to you. Those individuals have more depth with you in friendship, relationship, or even just, you know, subscribers than those which would gain, which gain friends, acquaintances, subscribers in mass. You know the Japanese saying where the nail that sticks out gets hammered? Well, that is true, but sometimes that nail is sticking out because it couldn't get hammered. Like, you try to like bang it in and it just kind of st stayed there. I've actually had that happen in real life. I was trying to install a mirror on the wall and I was trying to put this nail in, trying to like hammer it in, trying to screw it in there and it got stuck and it wouldn't even come out. It's like literally stuck hanging out. In this world, in all aspects of life, right, you set, you, when you feel like you're different and you want to do things differently, you think differently than, you know, the vast majority of people out there, you are kind of forced to conform or you're forced to do things to make you feel, quote unquote, normal. Um, normal is, normal to me is just kind of like an average, a baseline of how everyone is. And like, this is kind of like the baseline of expectations. Yeah. And the problem is you actually have like 90% of the population kind of just be like here, all here. And then so you get this average and then you have everyone who's different like out here and the average kind of stays there. But I think it's much better if you have everyone just kind of like outside and then the average kind of brings like an expectation to here, but like not everyone is in here this little box, if that makes any sense. We live in a world now that if you feel differently about something, if you feel different, like you need to be fixed. And um, you have to realize, I think people need to realize that if you feel like you're different, it's just because you think differently. You don't need to change yourself to make yourself feel like you're normal. A really extreme example, if you're physically a dude and you feel a certain way in your mind that you are different than everyone else, does not mean that you need to change yourself to become a girl. Very aggressive, controversial example, but that is not going to make you feel normal. Like these days, they make kids do very extreme things when kids say that they feel different or they think differently inside. I think human beings, and I'm no psychologist, but human beings have a tendency to want to feel and have some type of identification to a certain group. You know, you see it in cameras, everyone, oh, I'm a Sony shooter. Oh, I'm a Canon shooter. Um, you see it with vehicles, oh, you know, I'm part of, I'm team Subaru. I'm team, I'm team Lancer Evolution, like, there's always these squads, uh, Mustang, Camp Camaro, like everyone's trying to identify into a group. And, you know, people just gotta need to learn, you just gotta need to learn how to exist in your own space. Like, yeah, you could be a Sony shooter, but like, you don't have to like identify as such. Make sense? Like, you could just exist and be what you are, do what you do, but, you know, you don't have to always like label yourself something. There's always a good baseline of how things are identified or else there's chaos. Blue is blue. The sun in the sky is called the sun. Nothing else. I'm a dude. I'm a man. There's nothing more, nothing less to that. I'm a videographer. This is a hat. This is a camera. You get the point. There's a good baseline way to 
identify stuff. But I think life is complex, filmmaking is complex, being creative is complex. And don't force yourself into this box because in this box what you see is what everyone else is doing. It is what is popular, it is what is cool, it is what is trendy. Um, it is what is viral or whatever you, you want to call it these days. You know, it is okay, as they say, you know, think outside of the box. Like literally, it takes things to be done, done differently to have a true impact in the world and in society. So you take superhero movies, you know, if, you know, Christopher Nolan never went outside and said, hey, I want to do the Batman movie this way we would have never gotten something like The Dark Knight, you know. Or if, you know, Kevin Feige and all those guys didn't decide to do, you know, certain things with Marvel, we would never get that. Um, we would never get that whole Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, you know, I'm a Christian, I watch The Chosen, and there's a lot of people complaining about how The Chosen, uh, as, you know, adds certain, you know, scenes, kind of like fill in the gaps, uh, of, you know, certain stories within the Bible. And the, the producers, the creators, they try to stay as in line with scripture as they can when they are kind of imagining how certain things fit in between the gaps. And there's a lot of, you know, Christians, there's a lot of ch different churches around the world that are really angry with the chosen, tell people don't, don't watch it, this, that, and the other, because it's quote-unquote different than how, you know, churches and stuff teach and the reality is the chosen is probably you know getting more people to convert to christianity read the bible and you know getting to know jesus christ than any church can the tv show chosen that did things differently but the impact in the world and people is so much greater than all those who are conforming and just trying to do things the same way as everyone else i don't I don't want to be the same as everyone else. I don't like doing the same stuff as everyone else. And I'm going to continue to try to do things differently than everyone else. And I think that you should too. Anyways, guys, I hope this video was insightful and you got something from it. If so, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, lighten up. Oh my God, you edit another trat YouTube video? Bro, can I just be left alone today? You need to smile more on your video. It is literally impossible for me to fake a smile and articulate my thoughts at the same time. Your face always look like Premiere Pro crap. Well, your face looked like you mistaken lotion with glue. You slipped, fell, and your face landed on a pile of trim pubes. If you want to be the butt, if you want to be professional YouTuber, you need to copy me. Oh yeah, you're gonna sell me a master class on it? Let me show you. What up everybody? Subscribe my channel, buy my LUT, buy my matter clot, sign up for Squarespace and Storyblock. Oh for real bro? How do I buy? Link in the description below to buy.